Hello everyone, welcome back to some more Tomitsi. We're gonna do uh, puzzle number 70 today. Combination lock three. We had combination lock two was a long time ago and it was much smaller. It was a five by five, right? This is eight by eight? Anyway, we might as well get started. I, uh, I made a mistake actually in the original, uh, in, in combination lock two. I looked over the video after someone um, left a comment. I think it was Patashu, right? Um, and he said it was a fun puzzle. He or she. I guess I don't really know anything about uh, Patashu in real life. Um, and I was like, yeah, it was. But I realized I made a mistake. I made a con I made some faulty reasoning and came up with, oh, this can't possibly be a mine. And I clicked it and it wasn't. So I went on with my day. But if you look more closely, there's really no proof there. I just like declared it couldn't be a mine for no obvious reason. Um, so I went back and solved it the right way off camera, um, which was easier than the tangled mess I made. Anyway, here we are in real life. And I think this one clue is interesting because uh, as you can see, there are two of these four, which means one here clearing up the rest of the column. A five. Yeah, and we can do the same thing here now, right? There's uh, two of these, which means one of these, which clears up this row. Six? I didn't know you could print numbers so large. Anyway, this three and the one, give me these. We do have diagonals, indeed. Good to, good to note, I guess. It's kind of impossible to have a three here without diagonals, but uh, it's kind of useful to explicitly check. Is this one any good? If we have one here and two, yeah, I'm not sure about that. This five column has only six spaces in it. So all but one of them are full. However, I don't see how I can say anything about which one is missing the mine. The two could have both of these if one of these were a mine. And then we would need, you know, three of these. And that seems fine. Is it? Does it ruin this three somehow? That might actually be impossible. Let me erase and draw the clues in more carefully. Suppose that these are both mines. Ugh. Drawing with the mouse is so hard. Um, then these are not mines. And one of these is, but I don't know which. And we have two of these, very artistic, I know. Which would mean one of all of these I don't know. I don't see how this is a problem. Yeah, it seems so far like this is possible. Maybe more useful to say, well, we know there's one of these, therefore three of these. Not sure how that's useful at all, to be honest. Oh, these twos, here we go. It's simpler than that. These twos have all their mines in this area, therefore none here. Four is pretty big, plus this two clue is close to done.
I'm kind of like we have a lot of information about these two rows and maybe this row as well. So it seems like combining those row clues is likely to be useful, maybe. It's worth a try, I think. So in these two rows, we have six mines. We know there's one of them here, which means in this whole area, there are still five mines left, right? But... Like, what does that actually do? We can say there's at least one here. Well, actually, we can go a bit further and say there are at least three in these two areas combined, right? So that's four of our six, at least. Doesn't seem like it's actually going anywhere. This two column isn't going anywhere. These two rows combined add to five. We see three of them. There's two more elsewhere, but who knows where. I'm kind of drawn to this two. I know we already used it to unlock some other stuff, I think. Well, maybe we didn't, actually. So let's suppose there were no mines here. There would then be three in this area, which means at least one here. Then at most three here. Well, OK, that doesn't seem helpful at all. What about this? Could this be a mine? There'd be none here and two here. That seems fine. Oh, that's a two. <laughs> Just live with it. Um, which would put two here as well. And one here for this three. Again, this seems possible. Didn't we run into this before when we were testing something else, I thought? I mean, there's still two in this area, but there's exactly one here. So there's three here. We know that. And two here. Okay, so we talked about combining these fours. I guess this is the chance to do it, right? But we haven't learned anything. We just know there's six here and two here, which we already knew. Uh, 
Um, I mean, we know there's one here. Oh, maybe, maybe that's interesting. I don't think it is though. We know there's exactly one here. Which means there are two in this. Yeah, I can't use that to learn anything interesting. Like, it could be both of these and then not here, I think, is possible. I mean, okay, I guess that it, what, what it does tell me is that there's at least one here. And at least one here. At most one here, but we knew that. See, this is why even when you have a puzzle that you solve in seven minutes, you don't try to start another puzzle. This one's going nowhere. I need all the time I can get for it. This five, I mean, it only has two blank spots next to it, but one of them might be here. So it's a little bit harder to combine these two fours with this five. What if I, it seems ambitious and probably won't work, but what if I try combining all three of these fours? There are five of them here out of 12. There are four of them here. So there's three left in these entire three rows. Can I say anything about where they are? Well, I know there's at least one of these two from this four. That's 10. I know there's at least one of these two. That's 11. If I could prove that this were mine, I'd have this entire area unlocked. I don't seem able to do that, but I'm surprised that it that we're so close to having that top area actually filled out. It means that like, that's kind of interesting. Maybe if we add even one more mine into these two spaces, one more than the minimum, then there must be a mine here or here, here, I guess. and therefore no mine here. It seems like that might be the idea to like, um, or it might be an idea anyway. To try like, putting only the minimum up here and see if we reach a contradiction. And then if we do, we'll know these are all, well, uh, no, that's not quite what I mean, is it? Because if I run into a contradiction after putting only the minimum here, I'll know there's one here or here or here or here or here, like, right? There's several places an extra mine could be lurking. What annoys me here is that on combination lock two, when I was stuck and started like doing like conspiracy theory, red, red yarn stapled to pictures on walls kind of stuff, there's actually a pretty easy deduction just staring me in the face that I hadn't seen. Or like I had written down the first half of it but didn't realize the second half. Something something to that effect. 
And so I'm afraid there's one of those here that I'm missing as well. Um, something that it seems like it should be pretty easy to disprove is, suppose these were both mines. That's not my notation. My notation for that is this. Suppose that these were both mines. That seems tremendously impactful, right? There's no more mines in this row. Whatever, it bled over. Deal with it. Um, no mines here. Um, one mine here, which has to be, ah, this four, in fact, says that's the mine, and this isn't. These are all mines. One of these is. One of these is. This three is done. None of those are mines. This is a mine. Actually, it seems to be working out all right, doesn't it? Um, ah, these are all not mines. This is a mine. To finish the three, this has to be a mine. To finish this three, that can't be. This is. Now to finish this five, one of these is and the other isn't. So these both are. And this is a, this is a contradiction. This four row is too full. So what we've proven is a pretty small thing, and I'm not even really sure how we can use it. Um, but we did prove these can't both be mines. I don't even know how to notate it. So we know at, at most one of these two, which means at least two here. which, given that we have at most one here, means at least one here. Therefore, at most two here. Therefore, at most four. One here. At least one here, at most two here, at least three of these. I don't see that as being very useful. Okay, well, suppose we instead say, could these both be mines, and therefore neither of these? We have one of these, which we knew, so that's fine. We need two of these. One of these, therefore all of these. Let's draw a very tall two. Ah, this four, in fact. So we know this, this. All of these have to be full for the four. This two um, is done. And now we can erase this big fat two and give it the more normal notation of exactly one here. Actually, while we're here, let's erase this weird thing going through this. No! There we go.
Oh, this four is busted, like way super busted all to hell. It's got at least five mines. So no, we can't have both of these either. I don't totally understand the general reason why that is, but it does mean there's one of these, one of these, and one of these. Therefore, in fact, one of these, right? Yeah, which means two of these. We actually know this to be fact. We're no longer supposing it. And I mean, that tells us how many are here, right? There are um, three of this area. <laughs> Um, but we still can't really say anything about these edge clues, I don't think, because... Almost everything going on in these rows, these columns, is symmetrical about the center axis, right? The only thing that isn't is this four versus three and this two versus question mark, which are impacted. So does our information here somehow leak out to those spaces? Like, this two can't necessarily see any of this. There could be these two and one of these, and it would... Well, that's impossible, actually, because we know there's at most one here. Therefore, at least one here. Which we knew all that before, of course. But if there's at least one here, it means there's at most two in this entire area. Could I have done this forever ago? Because I think we figured out this four, right? Why am I concluding there's at least one here? Easy, because there's at most one here. So if there's at least one here, And there's at most two here, which means the four needs both of these to be mines. Okay. So it was a pretty simple like deduction. I just like it wasn't clear that that was where to start, right? I was trying all this other stuff instead. Now this two next to this three puts exactly one here, which I think does give us a ton, right? There's two here, therefore one here. And for this two, there must be one here as well. And that means there's one, one here, doesn't it? To finish this three. So we can be even more specific. One, 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 one. And so we get this column now. This two needs both of these. Okay, it still doesn't seem to be totally resolved. What about this whole area? I had some ideas of, I've now placed three of the mines, 
but they're all in places where I knew there were likely to be mines, and I haven't really cleared any spaces that are interesting. I don't know. Remember, we also know one of each of these, so one of these, right? Er, well, yeah, 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 we do, and we know one of these. So there are two up here. All right, I like uh, how many mines are in this area? This four by three region. I don't think we know for certain, do we? We do. We know there's one here, one here, one here, and one here. That's four. So there are two over here. Could be one of these and one of these, or it could be both of these and none of these. But regardless, there's at least one of these two. I mean, we've got a lot of exactly one constraints that we've developed here. There's another one here because of this three interacting with the, the two we know is here. If there's only one down here, then there must be two here, right? In this whole area? And we know that there's at least one here. So this can't be a mine for the three row. And that finishes the one column. We got a one there, a zero. A one in this column is kind of cool now, isn't it? If there's one here, then there's two of these. Well, that doesn't help that much, does it? What about knowing that there's one of these? There are therefore two here. And if we look at this column, maybe that tells me something. Like there are two here as well, right? Nope, all it does is tell me there's one here, which I already knew. Well, with one here, there's one here. And since there's at least one of these two, there's at most one here. Therefore, at least one here. OK, I think we can maybe turn these at most and at least into exactly, because we know there are two here. Yeah. Yes, OK, I think we're getting somewhere now. Um, how, oh my god, I'm losing it. It's falling out of my head. I've, I'm sure I've proven that there's a mine here, but I just have to reconstruct how I got there. Um, I 
Yes, this four column. We know there are two here. Sorry, that's obviously dumb. There's one here. So this three puts two here. And since we know there's at least one of these, there's at most one of these. So there's at least one of these. But remember, we also know there's exactly one here from this too. Right, I didn't need any of this, this other crap. <laughs> I just needed to say there's one here, therefore two here, one here, therefore one here. That means that there's one here to finish this too, which means there's one here. So to finish these twos, we need a mine here, and this area is safe. Okay, now there's one and the two, there's a mine there. Hope to get a little bit more from that. Okay, but let's start drawing in what we know now. There's one, one, one. One, 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 two. One, one here. This three, not really anything. One here. Hmm, this two is now a bit more constrained, isn't it? Because there's only three spaces to put it. You know what? Actually, maybe it's more productive. We know this and therefore this. And now this three can only put two into these four areas. Has to put exactly two in, right? Um, so two. That means this three has exactly one of these two. And since we have exactly one of these two, this space is not a mine. I believe we know this is a mine now, but I just want to rederive my information about the four column because I can't keep it all on the board at once. Um, there's one here, one here. Actually, I'm not sure that that's true. I know one of these. I thought I had more information about this four column, but I don't think I actually do. Ah, but the three column is finished. This zero should help. Three, it's not yet there. But we put an extra mine in this top area, which I seem to remember thinking would be useful, right? We know there's one here and one here, a total of six. This is two more is four. All right, that doesn't help very much after all. Well, there's at most one in here. That's at most five. So there's at least one here. All right, I can't do anything with it at the moment, but good to know. One, 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 one. Mm. 
one, one, one. I've counted almost all the mines here, haven't I? Four, six, eight. There are three left in this area. Well, one of them is here. So there's two mines left in here, huh? Well, I mean, at most one of them is here for what that's worth. Actually, don't we, this, no, I guess we can't really pin it down that well. Yeah, I mean, knowing there's two mines in here means there's at least one of these two, but that's not a surprise. We knew that already from the three column. Hmm. Ah, here we go. Two of these, which means one of these, which overlaps with this one to say there's no mine here. And now the one row puts a mine there. We get a zero. Mine here from the two row, zero, one, zero. Oh, look at this. Look at this. All right, time to regroup. Ah, this one and this two, put a mine here and not here. Now there are three mines left. Two in the top row has to go like this. And this finally tells me that. All right, combination lock three solved with well, with no blunders the game noticed, maybe I made, I clicked on some space that wasn't safe, but I don't think so. It looked about right to me. And we're through to most of row 70. I don't know, we could revisit some of these earlier ones, but I checked some of them off camera and I was like, I still, I still couldn't make much progress on Sunset. Um, the video for Sunset, uh, from my point of view, went up like a day or two ago. Um, and so I did get a comment from someone telling me like, Hey, here's what to do now that you're stuck. But, um, I didn't, I didn't read that yet anyway. Um, cause I think sunset is the first one that I didn't solve uh, on camera that I gave up on. TMI is another one that I gave up on. Yeah. Okay. I think emergency I didn't give up on. I just like got to a point where it was clear I had made a mistake somewhere but didn't know where. Anyway, that's all for today. Thanks for watching, and I'll see you next time.